I am fully equipped today for these little pesky fruit flies. Look, covered up, toe to waist, <laughs> and I've got my fan. And literally, once you stop, they do just come and attack you, and they do bite. I did some research yesterday. Ooh. I do some. I did some research yesterday, and they do like any sort of sweet scent, hence fruit flies, um, anything in your moisturisers or sprays. So yeah, I'm just gonna look like a right diva sitting here fanning myself the whole time. <laughs> Did you hear that? There's a little rumble. Man, is that going to mess up my plans to go in the ocean? That red flag's going to come up on the horizon, I reckon, if the storm rolls in. Yeah, you can hear there's a there's a rumble in the jungle. And I've upgraded to this fan because I was getting tired fanning myself the whole time. Honestly, these flies. We are back to the exclusive side of the resort. I'm going to jump in that pool. There's absolutely no one here. There's a lonely barman who I think maybe has shot off to chat to the lifeguard. I don't know, is that a sign that they've been naughty and sent over here where it's all quiet or perhaps it's a reward? It's nice and chilled out. But it's a great pool. There are loads of trees that surround it that give us these shaded patches. You can actually use it in the daytime. It's got, it's got these central little islands have the palm trees on that look great um, and it looks like a very classy pool it blends in really nicely with the trees you've got those frangipanis in the background that are always in bloom you've got the dragonflies darting around and it's a good size it's I mean I've got it all to myself so it's a great size it is intensely hot though and the Sun is um, it's potent and there are signs absolutely everywhere telling you that kind of you burn at your own risk and it says wear shirts and sunscreen and hats so I'm kind of half taking their advice there we go I'm going to quickly shoot back into the shade and not push my luck I don't think oh we missed that but that was so strong did you hear that that just ripped. Did I hear it? Yeah. Yeah, I did hear it. Yeah, that felt and sounded like it was right above. But I don't know where the rain is, but it has to be coming. Yeah. I know they're going to stop me getting in the sea. I like swimming in a storm, but that's a deep channel. So I reckon they're not going to let me. But let's wait and see if it comes. That was like, that. I don't know, that was like crunching foil, <laughs> that I can describe it. Or plastic. Be beautiful analogy, kind of a skipped me. Crunching, crunching plastic, basically really harsh. Tim has made it out to sea. Where is he? There he is. So I can feel a spot of rain coming down. The green flag is still up. I want to get in this water, try and film. Um, is it going to be less clear? It's a bit cooler in here than it was in the swimming pool. And it's a little bit rougher. But let's give it a go. Tim's gone in for round two and he's just felt it because I could hear the little tinkles coming from my umbrella. It's tinkling a little bit more now. And the rains have come and I am just waiting for that thunderstorm. The flag is still green. My lifeguard has retreated under the cover, but I think uh, I'm okay for the minute. There we go, it's not stopping anyone. I think maybe a little bit of the cloud cover, cover is encouraging people to come out. We've got a photo shoot going on and Perhaps some people are going to join me. I'm going to, I'm going to allow them. I think I'm feeling uh, magnanimous in my uh, outlook at the minute. Yeah, I just want some crashes of thunder and uh, some flashes of lightning. I'm protected under this umbrella so far, but yeah, let's see. And yeah, Tim is loving this. He, I remember when we were in, I think it was Koh Samui, 
and it, there was a storm and we were in the sea. He loved it. He loved swimming in the storm. So yeah, he is right in his element right now. Yeah, I don't know how good my filming is going to be underwater. Yeah, it's cool. Um, Where's my camera? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't drop it. The tide is much higher. So there seems to be less in the rocks, but there's still loads of fish swimming around. That, uh, the drop-off just terrifies me, though. Mm. Since I get towards it, I don't really want to go out. It's good, yeah. yeah I like it. Just to let you know, this is the reality of paradise. I am fully covered, clothes-wise. I have got an umbrella like this because the top umbrella doesn't block out the sun and for the past two hours I've been doing this with my fan. Luckily it's got this thing at the, at the end because as soon as I stop, it bloody flies. There has been a little bit of drama on the beach. A couple of the girls have been bitten or stung by something apparently on the inside of their elbow. Sarah just clocked it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. There are jellyfish around here, but there should be a sign up if there are. But I see a couple of guys in. They have rash guards on, and perhaps I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I think I don't want to be stung by anything. I don't know how bad it is, but they are heading off, perhaps to go and seek medical attention. I don't know. You saw more of it, Sarah. What unfolded? I don't know. I just saw them itching, and I was like. Okay, you saw a kindred spirit and thought, what are you itching about? You've got nothing to itch about. But look at this, right? You're in paradise and I am fully wrapped up trying not to get these flies. And this, at the end of my fan, is really good because I can just... You just like finding new and novel ways to itch. Or get the flies away. bureaucratic kleptocrat in me always gravitates towards the rules and regulations of the beach and let's have a little look I have read these before I went and swum so I'm not doing retroactively today um, so yeah only swim under a green flag no topless females I'm okay um, and no rule sunbathing I think that's rude sunbathing rule sunbathing I don't know you make that what you will but basically yeah they like their modesty here which um, yeah I'm all in favor of um, raise your hands if you get a cramp, no children under the age of 16, guests responsibility for their own belongings, thieves knocking around here, um, an emergency hotline with no number, yeah that's a full sense of security if ever I saw one, don't swim after a meal or under the influence of alcohol, have a chat with the lifeguards, leave if there's a thunderstorm, you swim at your own risks, wear t-shirts and sunscreen, so I'm abiding by a few of these rules. Um, the important ones, let's say. And this is actually something that I thought was really cool. I don't know if I knew it already, but I'm glad they reminded me because there are some strong currents out there. Like when, I don't know, they're not strong, but when I was out there, I could feel that I was being pulled here, there in a, in a mild manner, let's say. And if it was rough and stormy, perhaps that would be amplified uh, many magnitudes. Uh, but if you are caught in a rip curl, don't try and swim against the current. Instead, swim across the current parallel to the shore never leave any flotation devices so there we go i've learned something so yeah don't swim against the current i think i knew that but yeah swim parallel and i guess try to get out of it there we go as interesting as it gets on our exclusive private beach which is uh, exclusive and private now everyone else has chipped off and we are taking advantage that there's no one accommodating this bottom room. Look, have a look. That's the bed. That's their view. So I'm going to say, as long as you don't have loads of people using this space, that's a good room. But yeah. And do we have the bottle to show our faces back in the restaurant after the disaster of this morning? We're going to go in and go, just, we just want everything on the menu, no, please. No, we're not. We've got to pay for it now. We're going to be getting the chief's thing on the menu. It's probably a beef phone. Remember that? Yeah, I remember. And they're good as well. So, yeah. And look, we're trying to get to the restaurant before the mozzies 
So, not, not the mozzies going to the restaurant, but the mozzies getting yeah, us. I've never seen you so irate as you have been with those flies today. Oh, I and almost heard a couple of curse words. There was, not just today, those little flies, they're right pain in the... heavy on the veg, I like to see that. Yeah, and it might be the fact that I took all the beef while you did it with sizzling beef. So the Vietnamese sizzling beef that I wanted was off the menu, so I have gone for... Lemongrass lemon... chicken? Well, is it lemongrass? I think it was lemon chicken with chilli. Oh. I can't taste any lemongrass, but it's quite spicy. Um, it comes with some rice, and it was a decent portion. Um, I don't know if you're a five star, I, mean, I think you probably should be able to knock up everything you've got on the menu, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I have got my hands on my fishy friend, and there is no fish in it, so I got one, then I double checked the picture, and it's got some of those mung beans in it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, fish would have been worse. And um, what did you make of uh, the breakfast? Uh, breakfast breakfast service was uh, way too gluttonous. But what did you make of the uh, dinner, dinner service? You know, I was I was appreciating all the vegetables, but yeah, like Tim was saying, it's not um, a five star. I don't think. What? What's your conclusion? I haven't struck mung bean. Yet. <laughs> it's kind of like a. Is it ice cream though? It's like a, a wafer cone that has been left to get a bit old, so it's not crunchy. Then it's got some vanilla ice cream. Maybe I haven't got any mung bean and I got lucky. No. Oh no, there we go. There you go. Yeah, it's right. yeah. Yeah. See, now mum, oh, okay. Tim will have the halo halo next time. No, I won't. Um, I will only come if it uh, comes in a, a fish shaped friend. What did I think of the dinner service? Well, they didn't have what I ordered initially, which was the Vietnamese sizzling beef. I think you should have everything on the menu. I then asked for the burger and there were multiple pictures and uh, I was like, well, which burger am I gonna get? And she pointed to the smallest one. So obviously I didn't go for that. Um, and then what I did go for, I just feel it's not five star. Like in all honesty, the food, it was, mine was very oily. They were quite greasy, kind of fatty cuts of chicken. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah. Here we look, again, another empty restaurant mm. and we have this whole place of ourselves. <laughs> this is good though. Yeah. Hi, good night. I almost missed this, uh, what must be a veritable classic of uh, Chinese or perhaps Vietnamese cinema, Water Monster. Now, I probably wouldn't have clicked on it. Well, I did click on it, but I'm glad I did because then I got to find out that it's actually about a water monkey. And everyone loves a monkey. They're the best few shorts that we've had. Anyway, I want to read you the blurb and it says, a man killed by water monkey while fishing with his son. 10 years later, water monkey reappears and kills people. It's a revenge film, I love it already. The son has to assemble villagers together to fight water monkey to protect his lover. Now, I don't know why water monkey has anything against his lover, but I think that looks like it's gonna be a good film. Probably something that should have been made in the 80s. Thank you.